In this video, we're going to show you some exercises to help you start getting back into shape after having a baby. It's fine to start doing gentle exercises in the first six weeks after giving birth, provided you had a normal vaginal birth. If you had a cesarean delivery, you should also be able to do these exercises, but you'll need to talk to your healthcare professional about your timetable, because you may have to wait until after the six week mark. Exercise will help your body recover from pregnancy and childbirth and start building strength and endurance, something all mothers need. So the most basic thing you can do is walk. And a great way to do that is to take your baby out for some fresh air. Start off with about five to 10 minutes at a time. This exercise is for relaxation. It may not look like much, but it helps to correct changes in your posture that occurred during pregnancy. Lie on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor and arms at your sides. Just relax and visualize your abdomen getting flatter and your spine growing longer. Lie in this position for about 20 minutes. This exercise is called a Kegel, a pelvic floor exercise that helps to control bladder leaks, heal the perineum and tighten the vaginal muscles. You can do this in any position, lying down, sitting, or standing. Slowly squeeze the muscles around your vagina and rectum the same way you would to stop the flow of urine. Hold for a count of five, slowly release, rest, and repeat. Do this five times. You should try to do Kegels three to five times per day. Now for a head lift, another exercise for the pelvic floor. Lie on your back with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor, arms at your sides. Inhale and relax your belly. Then exhale slowly as you lift your head off the floor. Inhale as you lower your head again. Rest and repeat. Try to do five of these. This exercise is called the pelvic tilt. Lie on your back with your knees bent. Tighten your stomach and buttock muscles and as you exhale, tilt your pelvic bone upward, making sure to keep the small of your back against the floor. Hold for a count of five, then inhale as you relax. Repeat this 10 times. Here's an exercise to strengthen your gluteal muscles located in your buttocks. Stand 12 to 18 inches away from a wall with your feet about a foot apart. Place both hands flat on the wall about shoulder width apart. Bend forward from the hips at a 45 degree angle. In this position, take three seconds to lift one leg straight behind you. Don't bend your knees or point your toes or bend your body any farther forward. Hold this position for one second. Then take three seconds to lower your leg back to the starting position. Repeat with the other leg. Do this five times on each side. Here's a leg strengthener. Start standing with your feet about shoulder width apart and your toes pointed slightly outward. Begin to squat down slowly, bending at the knees keeping your back straight and not letting your knees go forward in front of your toes. Bend down as far as possible or until your knees are almost at a 90 degree angle. Use the power of your legs to return to standing. Do this five times. Now for some push-ups, but don't worry, these are modified push-ups. Start on all fours with your knees directly beneath your hips and your hands about shoulder width apart. Do the Kegel exercise and keeping your back flat and your stomach in Bend your elbows and then straighten them again. Don't worry about going all the way down. You'll also want to inhale as you bend your elbows and exhale as you straighten them. Try to do 10 push-ups. Flexibility is also very important. Now, when you stretch, only stretch until it starts to get uncomfortable. Don't bounce and don't forget to breathe. For this first upper body stretch, raise your arms over your head keeping your elbows straight and palms facing each other. Lower your arms out to your sides, palms facing down. Keep your upper back straight as you move your arms back behind you, bringing your palms as close together as you can. Hold for a count of 15 to 20 seconds. Rest and repeat. Do this twice. This stretch is for your upper back. Stand tall, feet a little more than shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. Interlock your fingers, bring your arms up in front of you and push your hands as far from your chest as you can. Hold for a count of 15 to 20 seconds. Rest and repeat. Do this two times. Now here's a stretch that will make you feel really good. Line your back with your legs extended and your back straight. Keep your hips level 
and you're back on the floor as you bend your right knee to your chest. Grab your knee with your left hand and guide your knee across your body and towards the floor on the left side. Keep your right hand at your side and your shoulder blades square. Hold for a count of 15 to 20 seconds. Then rest and repeat on the other side. Do this two times on each side. Our last stretch is for the calves. Good anytime, but especially when you come back from a walk. Stand 12 to 18 inches away from a wall with your feet slightly apart. Place both hands on the wall, about shoulder width apart, keeping your elbows straight. With your left knee slightly bent and the toes of your right foot turned slightly inward, move your right foot back one or two feet, keeping your right heel and foot flat on the floor. You should feel the stretch in your right calf muscle. If you don't, move the right foot further back until you do. Keep your right knee straight and hold for 15 to 20 seconds. Rest and repeat on the other side. Do this two times. These are just a few examples to get you started. For more exercises and a printable workout chart that will take you through your first six weeks, see the more information link for this section.